Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another tutorial. Today we're going to do something a little different as per usual and we're going to go over the uh, what I would call the process of getting a 3D model into Unity because I, um, I'm sure quite a few of you are wondering how do I, I know how to model and or texture models but I don't know how to get it into Unity so we're going to go through a few steps that's probably going to help you I hope so and um, we're going to be using a few programs oh yes uh, before I do start anything sorry to those who wanted um, animated models this is not going to be animated this is just going to be like uh, scene stuff like rocks and I mean we might even make a rock um, but yeah, so the programs you may need um, are a 3D modeling program of anything. It doesn't really matter which one. Um, and I like to use 3D Goat for not my modeling, but for um, my UVing because I don't really understand UVs that well. I'm still new to this, guys. Don't worry. Uh, just like you, I'm sure you wouldn't be watching a tutorial if you weren't new to this. So... Um, so first things first, we got to come up with an idea, and our idea can be anything, so we can even do like a little rock like that, as you can see, I'm not good at drawing, um, but <laughs> we'll try, we'll try and make this as not noob as possible, like I know what I'm doing, um, but first thing, okay, so what I wanted to do was come up with, I did a sword last time, I might make something a little different this time, uh, we'll make like a hammer, eh? we'll go down like that, and we'll go down like this, like like that, there we go, and then we'll go forward, and we'll go forward here, and that doesn't look like a hammer in the slightest, and we can then come back up here, and this is slowly turning into not so hammery, and more uh, axy, uh, oh, no, we'll, oh no, we'll go with this color, why not? And it's a hatchet from RuneScape now. And we have managed to create possibly one of the... Why does it do this? and now let's go and export these and we'll save them as just on our desktop we'll save them as AX there we go and now we want to go into uh, silo which is my personal uh, favorite well in all fairness it's like the only one I know so um, and then when we're in front we'll go to uh, not UV's display uh, set viewport image and we'll set it to X from our thing there we go Oh, that's nice. Um, and then we'll go to our right angle view and we'll go uh, display set viewport image to X as well. And then we'll go ahead and start creating this. Now, the first thing I think we need is um, we'll just go with the cube, shall we? Uh, we'll go up here and we'll edit it from in this window whilst looking at it from in these windows. So basically, we want to get this in line with that and in line. No, it's the other way around, sorry. We'll put that there, and we'll put that there, because that's the front angle. And seeing as we're all the way over here now. Um. Alright, now that we've done that, uh, we are going to want to... It doesn't look as good as our nice, not so nice artwork. 
um, but still it gets the job done and it does look like it but anyway so once you've created your model doing whatever um, you want to then go and export that as an OBJ we'll call this X and just save it to the front um, and then we'll minimize that we're no longer going to be wanting that we're going to go into 3d goat and go uh, UV map model and select our X model and wait for a bit and yeah 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 okay okay there we go okay so basically when it comes to this we want to mark the seams uh, to be to go right round like that and then um, basically split in half and I think that's probably the most efficient I can't think of any other way this is a very simple model so it's not going to be too complex to probably do this automatically anywho so there we go now we've got blue side green side and we've got our UV preview which is terrible but we go unwrap and it unwraps it perfectly for us and we can go pack UV and it'll perfectly make it look, look at that brilliant symmetry and we also then we from this we know um, how it looks so and where it's going to connect and um, important stuff like that um, and also the separation of uh, the wood which is this part to the whatever metal which is that part and afterwards we're going to go just apply UV set I believe and then we go save uh, no sorry no not save we go file export model and we'll just overwrite our X model right there done awesome and once we've done that we want to oh no we want to go back into 3d go and go edit and then we go edit all layers in external editor my uh, crop yes my current external editor is uh, Adobe Photoshop which doesn't seem to be liking me in the slightest right now no no okay it's doing something weird um, but we can go it and all there we go just load it up again ah that looks better okay so now we have this and we want to put our wireframe at the very very top because um, the wireframe is very important and now we've got our layer down here and we've got uh, another layer up here if we actually get rid of this bottom layer it becomes nothing but we want to draw on top of that bottom layer because we're going to use that gray um, that's on there right now and the wireframe we will just replace the color with red let's say because uh, it's a color we're not going to be using um, and then we want to go and texture this and this is going to take a while so yeah grab some popcorn and I'll time lapse it <laughs>
Now that shouldn't have taken that long, so that's pretty much it. So um, it's not too complicated, and it's pretty easy. Now I'm not too sure if this entire thing's going to be in a time lapse, but um, basically that's it. And then we go save, and we'll save it as a TGA file, which is Taruga, and uh, we'll go to the desktop, and we'll just call it Diffuse, because it's the Diffuse layer, and 24 bits slash pixels. Or 24 bits per pixel is good enough and minimize both now we have the model oh, we'll get rid of that now we have the model and we've got the diffuse which is all we really need the rest are just yeah no the rest are just unnecessary if we go into unity and take a look at my previous model which looks pretty bad uh, we'll see how this one compares um, by well, there's two diffusers in here. Actually, I'll get rid of this diffuse. And we'll still have two diffusers, but nevertheless, it should work. Basically, dragging and dropping into Unity, like any other asset. We'll check the axe in there. Let's see how much bigger. It's not that much bigger. Um, there it is. And we'll just go bang, bang. He shut me down, bang, bang. And then, um, we'll check that on. And it should all work out and you should have something that looks like that which is pretty basic um, in all honesty uh, it looks better than I thought it would look uh, <laughs> it doesn't look great though it's not the perfect one but that's basically all the steps you need um, to get these models into Unity and it's also a lot better if you start learning to make your own models instead of using the stuff from the asset store and that is why I've bought this tablet so I can start doing stuff like this um yeah oh I just hit my mic so I can start doing stuff like this and it it it's a lot better in the long run so basically that's it guys thank you so much for watching and sorry if this didn't explain anything I was hoping it did to be honest but um you know everyone learns at different paces so god knows where you guys are um if I just put that there there we go that looks better it's a bit brighter um, so, yeah, basically, thank you very much for watching. I hope this helped a bit. I mean, the X looks, I reckon it looks fine, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. Um, but, yeah, judge it yourself. Uh, tell me what you think. Uh, leave a comment in the description telling me exactly what you think, because I would love to know if um, anything was unclear. But that is the general process, guys. So if you ever need to import your own model, just uh, use this video, hopefully. Um, and thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.